Okay, it's Thursday the 9th of September 2021 and I'm on my way down to Salford Royal Hospital um, to see about having, well it's my first appointment uh, on the road to having bariatric surgery. Um, I've had to do a, uh, a 12 month course, I suppose, once every month I have to have an online, I have to have an online meeting. Uh, I've passed all that. This is the first uh, meeting with the surgeons to see uh, for them to see me and meet, meet them and find out what operation is best for me. Um, if you know me and you've known me a long time, you know I've tried and failed, tried and failed so many times to lose weight. Well, I've lost weight, but it's gone back on again. Um, I think I know quite a few. Quite a number of people who's uh, who've, who've had weight loss surgery now, and it's been a success. And I do think at the age of what 46 I am now, uh, and I've been battling with my weight for probably 25 years, yo-yo dieting. Um, I think it's time to take drastic measures. A lot of people will think it's drastic, and I agree, but. Um, What's the alternative? Uh, keep failing, die early because of uh, um, weight, my weight condition, weight related illness, I don't know. Stay tuned, let's find out what goes on today. Okay, I'm here a bit early, but I'm here anyway, at Salford, in the uh, Barnes building, or the Brook building, I'm here anyway, I'm here. So, let's see what the appointment is. Okay, I've just had me, uh, it's taken, weighing me, 181 kilogram, I've done my blood pressure, 140 something over 86 I think, and my uh, heart rate 90 and my uh, pulse oximeter is it called, blood oxygen, that was 97, so waiting to see the consultant then. Okay so I've just been in with uh, Dr John New, Professor John New, uh, really nice guy. Um, it's been through all my medical history, all the medication I take, etc. Um, in a nutshell, um, he said I'm a perfect candidate for surgery, uh, but the bad news is the waiting list is uh, about a year, about 12 months. So um, he's told me to try, keep trying to lose a little bit of weight or maintain my weight. And then he said um, about four weeks before uh, my surgery date, I need to make a serious effort to get a little bit well. I said, slim fast for four weeks, four meals, a bit, four shakes a day, no meals, um, for a drastic weight loss. Uh, that will help with the surgery. So, uh, I'm waiting to see the consultant now. Okay, I've just come out from seeing the surgeon, Mohammed. Uh, and I didn't catch his surname, so I do apologise, but I will find that out uh, again. Nice guy. Uh, again, he believes I'm a perfect candidate for surgery. Um, 
he recommended both the doctor and the surgeon both recommended that I have the uh, bypass rather than the sleeve so it is the more drastic of the two operations uh, but if that's what they're recommending then that's what I'll go with so it's just a waiting game now so let's see how long it takes uh, got a few other things I need to come back for a sleep apnea study and uh, I think I need to see a psychologist as well possibly uh, so we'll wait and see um, when the appointments come up alright cheers for watching ok it's uh, Tuesday the 19th of October I'm on my way down to Salford Royal Hospital uh, to take part in uh, sleep study um, it's all part of my um, journey I suppose uh, for, to weight loss surgery and this is part and parcel of what I need to do um, so stay tuned and see what uh, occurs see what we get up to cheers okay so I'm uh, out of uh, Salford Hospital, we're in very long, probably in for only about 20-30 minutes. Um, so they um, weighed me, measured me, they took a measurement of my neck, uh, just asked me a couple of little questions and uh, then off I went with the little machine that I've got to wear in my sleep tonight. So um, keep watching and uh, I'll show you the machine when I get home. Okay, so that's it, sleep test done. Uh, we'll wait for the results now and uh, see what we do from there. Just watch him. Okay, so I've received a letter through from uh, Salford Hospital stating that I have got moderate uh, sleep apnea. So uh, I'm just waiting for further, um, waiting for further tests or Went to hear back from them for, with an appointment to find out what we do from here. So I'll let you know um, as soon as I know what's going on. Maybe I'll have to go on one of these uh, sleep apnea machines, but uh, wait and see, eh? Okay, it's uh, Sunday the 2nd of January 2022. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, my name's Aaron. Uh, I've just turned 47 year old on Christmas Day. Um, I'm approximately 28, 29 stone. I've not been weighed for uh, a long time. Um, obviously, we've just come over the Christmas period, and I know I've put weight on because I'm feeling crap, both physically and mentally. Um, um, I'm asthmatic. I've got arthritis in my ankles, my feet, my knees, my shoulders. Um, I've got a hiatus hernia, which means I get a lot of acid reflux. Um, I've been diagnosed with um, sleep apnea, which I'm awaiting for treatment on that. Um, but this is the road to weight loss surgery. 
Um, I'm hoping sometime in 2022, I'm going to be receiving uh, bariatric surgery. Um, I've had my pre-op, I've met the surgeons, um, I've spoke to a psychologist, everything's been passed, uh, the bariatric surgeons were great guys, um, spoke about which surgery I'm going to have and it's been agreed that I'll be going for the uh, more drastic but the, uh, the the bypass where they bypass your stomach and um, so yeah um, it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard um, people think going for weight loss surgery is the easy option but it's not um, I've had to jump through a lot of hoops for the last year and a half already to get to where I am um, uh, it, it's not going to be easy I've got to lose further weight um, on a liver reduction diet I'm going to lose some weight because I've not got my diet uh, my date I've not got my date yet so um, I'm uh, I'm going to lose some weight naturally but then uh, when I do, when I do get my date it'll give me two week notice which then I'll have to go on a liver reduction diet where I'll be on literally um, next to nothing for a couple of weeks um, to really get an extra little bit of weight off and shrink the liver um, the liver's very fatty apparently um, so yeah stay tuned and uh, you know please support me on my road to weight loss and weight loss surgery yeah uh, please give this video a like and subscribe and uh, stay up to date in uh, what's going on cheers It's Monday the 3rd of January 2022. Okay, let's start this. Let's uh, see what the damage is on the scales. Starting weight 29 stone 6. Okay, it's Friday the 7th of January 2022 and uh, this week since my last weigh-in I've been uh, watching my diet, not been doing anything in particular, I've just been cutting out crap, no takeaways, no beer but I'm off a of beer anyway. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of exercise but this, just stepping in the house and it's, uh, my knee's been playing up, I'm in a lot of pain so every now and again I'm just getting up and doing a few marches on the spot. I'm just going to build it up until such a time that I can go back out again and get back to the gym and stuff. 